go back. So we talked about the fact that they have to be a type of person that's open-minded and wanting to learn more and get into the new services. What other qualities would you look for in them? Well, you got to be a people person. Okay, absolutely. Yep. You know, at the end of the day, I, you know, and I heard this from a colleague of mine um, a couple of days ago, this idea that, you know, if you get out of sight of your customer for too long and you manage the network remotely and everything happens from behind a plate of glass or a screen, you lose that intimacy that you'll always require if you want to maintain a customer relationship. And so, you know, that, that inclination, if you're an introvert, and you're uh, it's very technically focused is sometimes to potentially you know move behind the screen to manage the customers and I think that you need to think almost the opposite of that if you're going to start moving a lot more stuff into the cloud and work harder to maintain face-to-face -face customer relationships somehow but it's a di in a different way right you're not going to send a technician out every time they call the phone yeah like if you look at it like I mean we've had the telephone companies trying to get into the space we have some of the large department stores who aren't even not a computer but you know trying to get into this space we've had uh, Dow of course trying to get into the space and CDW trying to get into the space but when it comes to that small business marketplace they're looking for somebody who's going to be there local know them walk inside and ask how's your wife doing and by the way isn't your how your little, your little girl wasn't feeling well last week how's she doing yep. and I, I'm not saying that that's the only thing that they bring to the table but it gives a comfort factor like, yep. you know it's that whole taking away the fun factor yep. that you know the fear and certainty of doubt and making people more comfortable with it and in your opinion like I mean you hear this so often like, like I have a Blackberry and so I turn it on and I expect it to work so it's sort of where we're trying to get to our industry I don't think that we're ever going to get to an industry or at least not for a long long time where there is no problem, where it's simple. It's, it's too many vendors, too much complication. It's not like one vendor, like with my BlackBerry, RIM puts everything together as one source. In the IT industry, it's, you know, like I mean, Cisco does a lot, but you certainly can't say that you are the only player in this industry that you can do it all from end to end. And there's nobody who can. Like HP can, IBM can, and Microsoft obviously can't I mean there is no money. Well, that's the role, a big role of the reseller in small business as the cloud evolution sort of gets momentum is uh, helping the small business customer select the right portfolio of cloud providers, you know, being the one that assembles um, the, the, the right set of functionality, helping them set their data up, taking the first and second call. I mean, you know, over time, I don't expect many you know, major cloud providers to want to take the first or second call from you know a million small business customers every day, the reseller still needs to be involved in that activity. So, if you were if you were going to do this reseller business, which I know you're secretly doing, but no, um, if you were, would it be? A, do you think this is a good time for bars or a bad time for bars in the small business space? Yeah, in the small business space. I think it's a fantastic time for bars because you know. Since you are that trusted, you know, bars are the trusted advisor to small businesses, a lot of times they're just saying, I just need it to work, right? They're not asking a lot of, you know, they're actually using them, they're able to build out really profitable businesses themselves supporting small businesses. So the answer is, there's a lot of, a lot of bars that are looking at building out small business practices, more enhancing more products and services that they can sell, and really adding to their portfolio right now. So. You brought up the word trusted business advisor. Uh, we have a program in place that's all about teaching them how to become a trusted business advisor and certifying them and all the rest of that. When we were talking about the, the characteristics, we've gone through, so you talked trusted business advisor, you talked about being personable, you talked about knowing their customers and knowing their customers' business. The one thing you never talked about is being a techie. Um, and I have a feeling it's not because you left it out, but because if you were hiring somebody, maybe you might need some people if you had a big enough organization. But the person running it really could be any type of business person that there is um, in this new world. Whereas if I would have asked you that same question 10 years ago, yeah. um, it would be a totally different answer. Um, yeah. You know, it's. I think it. I think the technical skill is still going to be extremely important. I mean, you know, concepts and, and 
network security and endpoint security and threat management and you know all of those highly technical concepts. But um, they but can I think outsource it's, all of that so much easier nowadays. We still I still talk about it. You just don't talk about it the same way. It's it's kind of like um, what Ian said earlier today. I mean, small business partners need to talk to small businesses about what they care about, right? And it's not about routers or switches or wireless access points. It's about connecting to their customers, connecting to their employees, connecting their branch offices, securing their data, securing their business either physically through video surveillance or communicating, right? So that's how we want, when we work and we talk to our partners, better enable them about selling and marketing to them. It's about those simple concepts as opposed to routers and switches. Of course, that's a part of it, but not At the end of the day, thing. we're now selling the, the industry has finally gotten to a place, in my opinion, in the small business. Like in the enterprise, we've been doing it for a long time, but in the small business place, we're finally getting to that point, in my opinion, where we're offering business solutions. Things that are going to help them grow their business, or compete better in their business, or reduce their costs, or whatever it happens to be. But we're actually really doing that. And to me, that VAR, is somebody who's going to say, okay, in this niche market or these niche markets, I'm going to be an expert at what the applications are that they need. I'm going to understand what their, how their business works, how that niche works. I'm going to know who the players are in that business. And if they do that, I think this is the greatest time in the world for the small yep. business bar. Yep. Um, you know, I so just, you agree with me? I agree okay. with you completely. <laughs> and I'm going to have to agree with Andrew even if he is a fellow Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, gentlemen. All right, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. And enjoy Breakaway. Thanks. I know See I you am. Bye-bye. Thanks, gang.